I have to be honest with you. The more I hear from the administration and its quotes, uh, the more it sounds like talking points that come straight out of Tehran. And it feeds to the Iranian narrative of victimization. Senator Bob Menendez, a leading Democrat, blasting the White House on the issue of Iran. The president warning Congress that he will veto any imposing bill that imposes new sanctions against Iran while negotiations are ongoing. Now, Liz Cheney, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State and a Fox News contributor, listening to this yesterday, and Menendez is not mincing words. He's clearly on the Republican side of this issue. He says the Iranians have been trying to cheat for 20 years. What do you make yeah. of it, Liz? Well, I, you know, I think he's on the uh, American national security side of this issue, which is that time and time again we've seen with this White House, particularly over the course of the last year and a half, um, you know, every single time the Iranians fail to live up to their obligations with respect to the negotiations that are underway, uh, the White House gives them more benefits and extends the deadline. And you have a situation where the Iranian nuclear program is absolutely not halted, as the president claimed in the State of the Union speech. Um, they've clearly continued to make progress, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency, since these talks have been underway. And the White House seems to be trying to kick the can down the road to try to claim some sort of a victory. They want a deal, even if it's a bad deal, that risks the security of the nation. And I salute Senator Menendez and the other Senate uh, Democrats who signed on previously to uh, this new sanctions well, legislation. You know, it, appe it appears that Tehran's getting ready for a move from Congress, you know, with, with, the, with the move they made with Russia this past week. I want you to right. react to what Mike Huckabee said last night with Megan on this. The way you stop the school bully, bully is you put your fist in his face and you put his butt on the ground. We've got to understand that you don't stop a nation like Iran by, by telling them we're going to be nicer to you if you'll be nicer to us, because they're never going to be nicer to us. Mm -hmm. This doesn't work in the statecraft of today. It just doesn't, because we're not dealing with rational, reasonable people. We're dealing with radicals, radicals who want to kill us. So does the president think he can talk them into this? What is his He's, motivation? Yeah. He seems to. I mean, it's, it's really perplexing. You've even gotten to the point now, it's like the twilight zone, where at one point you had the White House press spokesperson suggesting that if we attempt to hold Iran to its obligations, that we're the ones who are failing to act in good faith in these negotiations. It's very clear that at this point there is nothing that the Iranians uh, want from us that's more valuable to them than a nuclear weapon. It's very clear that they want uh, to continue their enrichment program. Despite the claims the administration made a year ago, we now, according to all the news reports about where the negotiations currently stand, are going to let them continue their enrichment program. And this is deadly. You know, the notion that the president, as Steve Hayes was mentioning, didn't talk about the threat of an Iranian nuclear weapon um, tells you that he's not living in the real world and, frankly, that he's willing to once again put America's security at risk in order to somehow, um, you mm -hmm. know, fulfill his own political uh, gains, yeah. his own political uh, I tell benefit. you, the game to watch right now is what the Senate does, and it looks like they're moving, or Congress in general, moving closer and closer to taking some sort of action here. Liz, thank you. Liz Cheney there in Thanks, Washington Bill. with us this morning.